Hey everybody, welcome back to another land play Slay the Spire. Um, you might think I'm bummed after losing the last run at the final boss, but I'm not. I was rejuvenated. I have become reborn. Ruka, 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 Ruka. My cat is looking at the mouse pointer. I gotta hand it to you, Mega Crit. You have developed a mouse pointer that cats love. As soon as Ruka hears, hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Play Slay the Spire, he's like, I need to attack this. Some of these runs he could probably play better than I do. Hey, relax. No, no hunting mode. I'm gonna close your eyes. No hunting mode. That sounded menacing. I just put my hands over his face for a second. All right. So here's the thing, like, healing for six, so good. However, getting more energy if we manage to luck into a random boss relic is so good as well. However, I think it's more useful as the silent, because the silence relic, the starting relic is a little worse, although still good. Um, I think I'd rather have a random rare card, and Reaper is just lovely. So we can now start to, like, don't force an archetype. It's something, even if I say it, don't force an archetype, in my head I'm like, we're forcing this friggin' archetype, right? Um, but Reaper, especially in a thin deck, we know we're gonna draw it in every combat, so we're actually gonna heal for more than six every time. What I'm gonna do is uh, just play it slow here. There's no reason for us to lose HP even if we think we are gonna be able to come back, uh, you know, with Reaper and heal for more long term. We have wounds in our deck. So I'm, I wouldn't say I'm frightened, but anyway, you get the idea. The thing is, is the, as the uh, Ironclad, we can f afford to play a little bit uh, less aggressively. And I know that sounds like I'm, I'm saying it backwards, but no, we can afford to play it a little less aggressively. We don't have to roll the dice and replace our starting relic to have a better chance. I mean, you probably don't have Ascension level 3 to begin with, but I digress. Uh, don't play two defense in that situation. That's just a demonstrable misplay. I love where we're at on this run. Getting Reaper in a 12 card deck, sign me up. We healed for one. Because <laughs> he was about to die anyway, but... Um, you, you gotta love Double Tap Reaper. Double Tap works with many cards in this deck. Getting two bashes for the price of one, well, for the price of one and a half, is, uh, is already good. I think I'm gonna let you hit me for, uh, for 13 in order to make you vulnerable. And then we're gonna hope that we draw a double tap Reaper and we're gonna heal for more than 13, I think. Well, actually, we might heal for... We did draw it, but let me think. Four damage, which is six damage. We do it twice. We'll heal for 12, and then you're gonna hit us for eight. It's a little weird, but we might as well strike while the iron's hot, right? So we're gonna go down to 71. Uh, realistically, we could kill you next turn, although we're gonna be weakened, I think. The thing is, this guy's tough because we can't outblock him. So we'll just play it a little cool here. Don't weaken me. Double tap bash should kill you. I'm not even gonna run the math, I'm that confident. Cause the second bash gets affected by the vulnerable from the first one. I think, I, I don't wanna overcorrect and never take armaments, which is a card that I overrate. Thing is, we're almost always going to use this with a two mana attack. That's not very good. Well, I, obviously, you upgrade armaments. What am I thinking here? We did not get the curse, which is fantastic. But yeah, I think I, I used to take every armaments. I'm working on that. I'm working on that, and I'm working on me. I still think the ancient potion is actually pretty good, but we're going to try to fight as many elites on this first floor. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I go through these cycles in this game, in every game, really. Um, I'm looking at it, I'm like, ah, this is probably okay. Uh, where I go, oh, I love this, this card's amazing. I guess not every game, but every game with cards. And I win a couple runs with that, and I go, that's the way to do it. And then I get criticism. Lovely. Um, I get criticism, and people go, ah, that card, you're, you overrate that card. And I go, you know what, you're right. I'm never taking it again. And the real answer lies somewhere in the middle. Uh, I think having one Armaments Plus in a thin deck is a beautiful situation. I don't, and I'm, uh, Cleave, I've very much 
I loved it too much. It's time to move on. We are going to fight Relics on the first floor, because I think we have a good deck, and I think we have the ability to capitalize on it. You know, I'm very tempted, but it's actually not that good. It's essentially like three strikes. So we're going to pass. I, I want to at least open... I would love to do a double tap bash. We might as well at least armaments, and then think about it. Is it worth using a bash here? I'm going to say no, and hope that we draw a, you know, some gas next turn. Cat! Don't attack! It's not... It's, I don't know what's wrong with you. Okay. Well, I think we're going to start here, because if we don't, he's going to wake up anyway. Not an ideal start, but it's not terrible, I think. Yes. My son. I know. The, the dastardly crosshair is at it again. While he's vulnerable, we kind of got a strike, so we'll do something like this. Uh, I actually... Yeah, dude. So the thing is, taking zero damage... Might not seem that important, because there's a campfire after this, but if we skip the campfire, we might be able to fit in a second elite. Hmm. We should play armaments for the block power and to upgrade everything, but now double tap doesn't really work. Unfortunately. So we're just gonna hit him hard. This is really good, though. We'll lose 15 life. We'll have Reaper available at some point, but that's not really the gas we're looking for. But we're gonna have him roughly at, like, a level of HP that we'd like him to be at. In order to destroy him. 36 is pretty solid. 36 is really solid, actually, when you consider that we didn't even have to uh, uh, go that low on HP. So I think this turn we're going to double tap Bash. And we're going to take quite a hit. But we should be able to kill him next turn. And we should be able to kill him without using any of our potions. Which normally would not be that important, except for the fact that... Uh, you know, now we can use these to maybe spring... Sorry, I hit my desk and the cat freaked out. To springboard into uh, into our next elite fight. But we'll have to see how things go after this combat. These guys, in theory, could be uh, pretty easy to destroy. But if we don't kill them quickly, we'll have some problems. Uh, nobody has 8 HP, huh? So I gotta... Alright, well, I'll tell you what. It's probably the right time for that. Yeah, okay, so we'll actually, we'll overheal a little bit. Not overheal over our max HP, but where, over where we started here. And, uh, fine by me. It's a really great fight for Reaper, if we were willing to wait for it. Headbutt's kind of tempting. Got the froggy voice there. Headbutt's kind of tempting, isn't it? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, well, if we do this, <laughs> we are forced to fight two elites. And we get much less in the way of campfires. So I'm actually going to be a little bit of a baby. And I'm going to rest up. And we're going to take this path. Which still forces us to fight an elite. I want to point out. But let's us get a relic first. And I don't know if that's that good. But sure. I tend to undervalue max HP I think. Alright. So here we love an armament. And then we probably. Jeez I don't know dude. I kind of like. I look at this and I go. Something like that. Seems pretty solid to me. I'd like to kill them both in the same turn. There's a fairly realistic chance that that won't be possible. But we're going to continue to strive for that, even though it makes no sense. You know what I'd love to see in this deck? Now that I'm, you know, taking Cleave as Verboten. I would love to see... This is not going well. I would love to see uh, Whirlwinds. We're still fine as long as they don't both attack on the same turn. If they both attack on the same turn, we got real problems. But we're still going to make it here. And you're wondering, like, why does... He said Reaper's so good, but he's never playing it. That's because it's too energy for not a lot of damage. And our HP is in a good spot. But when it's not, we're going to be exhilarated. We don't need another Armaments... Um, we could use some damage top end. I know, I think we said no to a Perfected Strike plus. But I'm going to take a Perfected Strike nonetheless. Uh, and you might, I don't know. I just, we don't have any top end right now. We're, we're able to defend, which is cool, but... No, wait, that was bad. I'm stupid. We should have played Double Tap on a Strike there. 
because at least it counts as two strikes for two energy. Yeah, that was that was actually basically brain dead. Um, that's all right. You know, you you learn these patterns. Hopefully, you learn them faster than I do. Uh, I do like an armaments, followed by a 36 damage hit there, and um, you know, sure. He's gonna hit us for seven, but that's basically nothing. He's gonna die and give us access to a relic, which is awesome. Nice thing about having uh, higher max HP. I don't know if this might be overkill, but the nice thing about high, having higher max HP is we also heal for more. Oh, no, we don't. We heal for more when we rest. Darkstone Periopt. You get strength, or you get HP for curses. Um, I'm gonna try to shrug it off. We could use more defense in this deck, I think, to be honest. Still no crowd control, so we're like a little bit bummed out here. Um, I'm just going to tell you straight up. We're going to block first, but there's nothing I could draw that would make me not play Perfected Strike on that guy next. Our only crowd control, or AoE really, is Reaper. Not bad, but not what we're looking for. This guy should go next. My favorite uh, Dragon Ball Z character. Oh, you're a big fan of Vegeta? That's cool. I used to be a casual. Now I like Go Next. It's the son of Go Trunks and Gogeta's wife. Next to you. Um, All I want to be is next to you. <laughs> what could I do? This is a weird one. I don't think we want to play Reaper. But can I kill you without playing Reaper? Yeah, but it's like, it's weird. But I can't let you hit me for 30. Why don't I want to play Reaper? Because we're going to get a hit. If we get hit for 10, we're going to heal for so much by playing Reaper that it's like... Uh, how much is Reaper going to do to you? 4 plus... It's going to be like 7. It probably won't kill you. So we'll do a double tap, but then it's going to make these guys stronger. You see what I mean? So I think I, this seems crazy, but I think this is actually how we do it. We take 4 damage. And we preserve, like, the chance to get Reaper in the future. The thing is, I don't want to hit these guys twice without killing them. Because then they're going to hit me like a friggin' truck. You gain two, you gain one strength. Okay, hear, hear me out here. You're dealing 11 damage. We're not playing this slowly because it's hard. We're playing it slowly because it's smart right now. Cat, I swear to God, if you lean on this friggin' escape key... Why, why sleep on the keyboard? That's all I ask. Why sleep on the keyboard? Does this really seem like the most productive use of your time? There's probably a better way to do this, but this is, uh, there's probably a more efficient way to do this. But as far as I'm concerned, if we take as little damage as possible, this is the, be the best way to do it. Simply the best way to do it. Better than all of the other ways to do it. Um, I mean, even here, you're like, I guess I'm just going to kill you. I'm not even going to play Reaper. I don't see a path where Reaper doesn't lead to us taking more damage than we heal for. Not only with Reaper, but also by the end. Battle Trance, I'm just I'm going with what Austin says. Austin says it's one of the best cards in the game. I see no logical reason to disagree with him. Double Tap working on two attacks, I think, is the next best option. At one point, Reaper is going to be playable. I promise this to you. It might be right here. An armaments Reaper is like a kill. This is this is nasty, man. Well, it's gonna hurt. We're gonna take Jesus. <laughs> These guys aren't messing around. At least they stopped attacking, but my god. Okay, so we'll probably get a Reaper here. We didn't get Armaments, which would have been nice, but this is a great time for a Double Tap Reaper. And by great time, I mean actually my mistake gets terrible because we didn't kill them. We could have popped a Strength Potion and probably killed them, but whatever. They're all in striking distance now, like literally. Um, and we did heal, like technically, for four. <laughs> Amazing. Alright. Uh, if you're dealing six damage, get out of here. 
We're not taking any more damage. So we're gonna heal for six, we're gonna be at 88. That puts us in a position where we should smith before the boss fight. It's been a very slow first floor, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Three strikes, that's all we need. I actually, I'm pleased with the deck. I think it needs more top end. Sure. It does kind of need an engine behind it, and I think Demon Form can be that engine. Even if it's probably going to lead to us getting the Christ kicked out of us for whatever turn we end up playing it on. So we're playing against a Glob Lord. Beautiful. We definitely want to play Demon Form, so I don't think we want to cycle the rest of the deck too quickly. Because we'd rather get Reaper as late as possible with as many enemies on the screen as possible. So that way, what are we hoping for? We don't have zero energy cards. You play Demon Form, you move on. I don't need to weaken this guy yet. We'll weaken him on the turn where he hits us really hard. Tomo, you wanna come back in, buddy? Hello, my Tomo. Boy, he is a Meowie Lord. Uh, not Maui, that's a different that's a different thing. The guy, I'm gonna pop the strength potion. Next turn, believe it or not, I think he probably ends up uh, splitting in half. Remember, we don't heal the max after this, so we'd like to find a way to mitigate the, the damage here if possible. Um, I think Double Tap Perfected Strike is our way out of this. It does leave them split at relatively high HP, but it saves us from taking 38 damage. So it's going to take a long time for, like, if, if that was the wrong decision, it's going to take a long time for it to percolate downwards. Let's put it that way. Um, these guys are now going to split into 15 HP. And you're going to do something stupid like, I don't know, you're going to frail me. Oh no. Okay. Well, dude, the demon form ended up just being incredible here. We might as well hit you, and then we'll probably just kill you next turn. Even if you weaken me, we might still be able to do it. Nah, just frail. Yeah, this was really good. Um, it would be extremely nice if I could poison bodies. I'd like to kill the baddies without getting in trouble. It doesn't really work. Give me another double tap. I can take it. If we get the black star, we have to make a concerted effort to fight the elites. Dude, we only heal for like 14? It's got one, one eighth? No, not even close. This is like one seventh of our max HP. Anyway, um, shop. Early shop. But we want to hit elites as well. Elite, elite. <laughs> Good God. Um, we'll try, but that's a lot of elites. Junky, donkey, donk, donk, donk. Anyway, we want to draw demon form right off the bat. Every time. Every time. This is a deck that uh, succeeds in us essentially blocking until our strikes do 50 damage each. Or actually, really, what it, it's going to come down to is our perfected strikes dealing more damage, I think, but. Um, see, like, you're you're hitting, like, a friggin' truck this time. Can't really weaken you. So, uh, on this turn, I, we either take 22 or we take 18. I think I'm okay taking, uh, 22. And remember, th the thing is, we're gonna take some damage in the process here, but that's what Reaper's for. And especially the stronger Reaper gets, um, the, the... More we're gonna heal up, and I'm trying to run the math now, because it only heals off on block damage, so let's take a quick peek here. We could block for enough. This will deal 26 damage. So it would only heal us for like nine. You might think I'm crazy. I'm gonna try to roll. Yeah, this is fine. I'm gonna try to roll us around once. We could have healed for 15 on it. But then we would have taken some damage in the process. I'm just trying to, like, minimize our concerns here. So it ended up not working because we're now... We don't have any choice. Like, we have to kill him. We're not going to heal for as much as I wanted. I wanted to get a good Reaper play, but I, th I think it was okay to roll the dice there. Um, again, I got to admit, Cleave has a siren song that always calls to me. It's a great time for an early Reaper. We don't need a demon form necessarily, but if, we're, if you're going to... 
you know, twist my arm here. I mean, I'd prefer not to take 12 damage on the first little go here. Um, we could take 6 and we would heal for 6. That's pretty bad. I don't, but we, we can't get enough damage out of this. Ah, this is this is a tough one. You know what I mean when I say we can't get enough damage? Like, we, we can't hit them three times. We can't hit any of them three times. What we could do is try to block them out, but that just, it slows us down. I, as much as I hate to admit it, I think this is the play. And, you know, maybe we pop the regen potion, but I think this is the play. I don't think we're looking for, like, oh, I healed six off of Reaper. I think we're looking for I healed, like, 30 off of Reaper. Even if it takes a few turns to get there and we take some hits in the process. Trust me, I would prefer not to. Ugh. Still bad. So we're gonna pop this. I think we're gonna last five turns. We have the same thing where we just we don't have enough energy to make this happen. So we'll probably end up like this. 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 It still hurts him. Not as much as I'd like. We need to draw uh, attacks that are not too energy. In order to take him out. A double tap... <laughs> Yeah, double tap, double tap's the right play here. We can interrupt one of them with a double tap. It'll mean we don't get to play armaments, though. In fact, we might be able to kill one. Probably, let's, I mean, it's going to deal 12, and it's going to deal 12. So it's going to deal 6 and 6. Then it's going to deal 12. And it's gonna, uh, okay, yeah, I mean, you see where I'm getting at here? I think we could probably kill you. Does the math check out? What's the game plan? Oh my god, we're going to get hit so friggin' hard. I don't really want to use a weak potion. We might have to turn here and not do the extreme elite path, even though we want to because we have Black Star. Um, so it'll deal 12 damage because it's 6 and then 6. These two guys take half damage. And then it'll deal 6 damage, taking it 18, and then it'll deal 12. So we should be able to do 30. And I did it on that guy because he had upped his strength, even though this guy's dealing more damage. So we're still waiting on this Killer Reaper play, man. This is the turn. I can feel it. Well, careful what you wish for. This is perfect. Um, it's not going to heal us for that much. But 12's no joke. Um... It was the right time to pop it because nobody was attacking. These guys are not good Reaper targets. Stop. Stop. Okay, well, this will kill you. And then I'm like, we, we must be able to put up enough block. Sure, that's enough block. And then we go on you next turn, and you you become destroyed. This is a tricky one, though. I'm not as much of a believer as I was mere moments ago. 39 damage. I gotta think about this. Because if we can't get to 39, we can block easily. This will deal 10 or 11. And then this would deal... Like, 19. Yeah, I don't think there's any way you live... That's a weird way to handle these guys. I'm gonna keep the deck thin, man. I know by keeping it thin, like, it's all strikes and defends, but... We can't remove strikes because perfected strike is a win condition. And by can't, I mean we could, but... I'm not sure I want to. Dude, we got so much sustain. It feels bad to just, like... Obviously, we're looking for a double tap, like, a double tap Reaper is not horrible in this situation. But we're probably better off just going strike, strike, strike. Baby, turn around so I can see that sexy body go strike, strike, strike. That is all I want to see. We, we should be more focused on just living right here, honestly. Um, we need to, demon form is our win condition, so... Awesome. Not taking any damage. Haven't used any potions. Demon form means that we're getting stronger as the fight goes on, even if our draws get, you know, potentially terrible. Uh, could I kill you? Could I, could I trouble you for a little dose of murder? 
could be something like this. This. Looks like I gotcha. What a strange circumstance. 62 HP. Heavy Blade also is a win condition, so we can definitely afford to roll it. Do we want to fight two elites? And then also that'll force us into fighting about 100 enemies on the way up. Or, this path is more gentle. It gives us two elites instead of three. But it also gives us an early shop. But we have to fight... Yeah, I think we do it. I think this is the right path. I don't know if Metallicize fits. Uh, I'll level with you. I think we want to remove a basic defend to make our deck more consistent. And... Uh, Jeez, I don't know, man. Like, we could take two relics. Juzu's okay, but I'm not doing speed runs. Six damage to all enemies right off the bat is pretty good. Reducing the cost of cards in your hand? That seems more valuable than any relic right now. Let's do that, and then let's raise our max HP to ridiculous levels. So that when we rest, we heal for like 30. Alright. Well, it's good, it's good. Um, the only thing that could be better is if we play Battle Trance and we draw Enlightenment, which we didn't. So we will play Demon Form, and uh, this means we will win this fight. It's just a matter of uh, how much damage we take in the process. We got a lot of good two-cost cards, so Enlightenment is a, is a nice choice for us. Whether we want to play it... Uh, it doesn't get exhausted, so whether we want to play it right now, it'll heal us for 14. It does seem kind of tempting, doesn't it? I'm going to let it go around. It's a tough call. And I know we haven't seen proof of this in the run yet, but I genuinely, 100% firmly believe we will hit that stride. Oh my lord. What do I mean by that? I, we're going to hit a 50 damage heal off Reaper. We've done it many times. We're not there yet. But one day, we're going to get there, man. We might as well double tap. Uh, actually, you know what? We might as well not. This guy's not doing anything, except weakening us, probably. So we're weak forever, and he's got plus six strength. That's stupid. We want to see if we get enlightenment, even though we'll probably draw 20 days. Is 55 damage. We can only play one of these, so I do think we still block something. And we hope to... Oh, we can't draw because of Battle Trance. The, I mean, do you want to heal for 12? Psh. It's Pope crap in the woods? I don't know what that means. We, we, we benefit from healing for 12. I'm getting too attached to these, like, high numbers. 12 is a fine heal. We're only taking 6 damage on this turn, so it's not that bad. Uh, I don't think he's dead, but pretty close. Being weak stinks, dude. Hey, cat, you can't lean on the keyboard, you silly. I'll give you a pillow. You want a Rubik's Cube? Here's a, here's a flipping Rubik's Cube you can use. A, why the keyboard? I know the answer to the question, by the way. The reason why the keyboard is because this Joker. I mean, I'd rather not, so sure. Um, the reason why the keyboard is because he knows I'm using it, so he's like... Pay attention to me. Oh my god. Well, thankfully we made it. This didn't go that badly, I think. We don't really want, like, what do we dual wield? We can't dual wield anything productively. Bloodletting, I think, fits the archetype of our deck right now. This is a scary one, but this is the ideal enemy if we can make Reaper work. I think that the way we handle this is we want one to be dead as soon as possible. 14 damage for two is not good enough. Um, I think we might like a bash and then a strike, but a block into a battle trance, into an enlightenment? Okay, that's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, so we get an enlightenment. Unless, wait, what's the upgrade on enlightenment? Does it make everything cost zero? This combat? Oh my lord. Play armaments first. That's amazing. So we're still gonna get hit. 
Um, for 14. And we didn't get to play Demon Form. And we're going to be weakened. <laughs> but, one enemy is very nearly dead. And uh, all of our two energy cards cost one energy now, which is awesome. Uh, oh no, only the cards in hand. <sighs> Dang you. I think this will heal for 11. It's not really uh, a wonderful situation. This will possibly... Because you're going to make it so we can't attack next turn, right? Jeez. Because uh, he entangles us. I'm just like, can I get you? I think, I think we play it like this. It's so weak. We heal for 10. But it gets this guy killed on a turn where we can't attack next turn. So I think that this is the right play. Even though losing Reaper without getting a huge advantage out of it just kills me inside. And I did want to play Demon Form, but that gives us two turns of doing nothing, which I think is way too dangerous. Like, this guy's going to die before he attacks, so we are going to take 21. But we're only going to take 21. And we're not going to take 21. We're going to take 15, which in the whole scheme of things is not bad. So we really had to give this fight our all. To be fair, we got a bad draw. We didn't get the, the gas we wanted right off the bat, but... Uh, I think it should be better for us now, although the wounds are absolutely killing me inside. So we're going to take another 15. Double tap, perfected strike won't kill you. And that makes me a little mad. I'm actually going to die. It only does 36 damage. It only does 36 damage. The deck works. I swear to you it works. We just don't have the energy. And that's that's us. We got we got crushed. That kills me. It really does. Deep inside, that hurts me a lot. Oh, oh. Should have taken a different relic from the boss, and we should have done a lot of things probably. But hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll be back with a silent ascension mode quickly. Uh, grinding me down again. I love the base game. Ascension mode makes me want to die. But I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless, and I'll see you tomorrow, or in the you know the afternoon.